Welcome to WEC Full Access. Learn from the Danish master. Mm. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, it's, that is... it's incredible what $50 can do, right? <laughs> <laughs> when you're fighting limits. somebody, you try always to go even lighter. Uh -huh. And then because you know you have track limits to go, yeah. and both of them end up there. <laughs> so it's kind of silly. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just, it's, just, it's just bad because then you need like to do the long ride and you have and no angle kind of, at all. Yeah. <laughs> In free practice, don't be afraid if you carry a bit too much speed, just, you know, dive out of it. Just to see how it is. Uh, yeah, and, and enjoying back there, but, because it's super safe, you know. Yeah, keep keep the wheel turned fully, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and come back on this way, yeah. Actually, there's a bit of a... Um, Maybe okay. camper difference. Definitely not. In theory, you would not do this. You, you would prepare to have more of a straight here because you have more more exit there than here. But it doesn't work. I think there is where. Yeah. Using more. It's just where the grip is probably. Because when you prepare, you come from the outside. It looks a bit like there's a. You know, that's camber yeah. here and not there. That you follow the cam yeah. camber. Uh, you just camber go line. in the camber yeah. earlier. This is only. Man, here when the car was hooked up in the rain, you could make so much time here. The left, right, right there. Attraction is important. Oh, it's all traction. We were racing against you that year, that our P2 car was like a rocket ship here through the rain. Yes. We had just like, we, we changed the cambers a bit. And, mm -hmm. Oh, we had so much traction. Yeah, this sector is all about rear tires. At this point, you want to be as straight Careful, as possible. We have, uh, we have uh, Caleb Ewan Jr. coming. But at this point, you want to be as straight as possible. And the more steering lock you have off, the more traction you have. Hey. Yeah, in, in 1993, I was different. <laughs> Yeah, that was when he raced you the first time, he said, and that was the year I was born. That was four. <laughs> 2007 in Formula One was like this. The Formula One here, that must be quite impressive in that long corner, right? You... Yeah, <laughs> very quick. A lot of G-force. stones everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be different in the GTE for sure. Here I tell you a secret for the breaking point. I look at the Mont Fuji, yeah. and when it disappears behind the auto, but now I cannot I see with the hotel. Yeah, when it disappears when the hotel, I break. Oh, already, man. Yeah, <laughs> you break on the exit. Right. <laughs> and I tell you a secret. You go into the corner, you handbrake, you drift to the car. You go directly. As soon as you you feel the rear sliding, you flat out, all the way out. <laughs> That's how you drive in the last corner. If you are in green, which means you are going track limit. Uh, even the second car, I'm not sure you go there. Would you go there? I think it's here's flat, so maybe maybe it's fine here. You know, you... No, but the car's wider than that, mate. It's not track limit. Yeah, but the plank is going to touch here or the floor. Mm. So you sometimes put your the right. You're, you're using the, the right wheel here. Yeah. But um, we, you know, which means you lose a bit of traction. Yes. Okay. As long as you carry speed. It's... 
Yeah, we have to we have to see how the how the how the traction is working. Yeah, it's so easy to to do tracking. It. Yes, okay. So easy. Car in the pit lane. Car stops. He has not much experience. We just want to train him as a driver helper, as a spare driver helper. Okay. When we have done with the pit stop practice, we do a couple of driver change without the pit stop, complete pit stop. Is to train our spare driver helper because at the moment we don't have any spare one. So we have a new guy we are training for it. He did something at the workshop with the car 8 crew uh, during the sim session or in between the sim sessions. So we can do a couple of changes again. If the is jumping out, Mike's jumping in, for example, I have the box in my hand, I open the door, put straight the bottle in, and then I grab the belts. That way, if you're in, you can connect. Ah, yeah, because and then you don't the need. Yeah. And then you get up. It saves you time when you have to go. The one you throw over the top, yeah. this one, you bring it there so as well is. Wide or, yeah. USB stick. Have you done this? Uh, just a, just a pull. Yeah, just a pull it. The yellow to the front. Yeah. In. Push it in and always pull one more time to make sure it's not going to come out. Because I, I don't think we do inside only. This bullshit because yeah I didn't let it go again. No, this one fell inside. Would you like to do one more or it's okay so far? I mean, I would like to do one more, but if the drivers are a bit tired, it's okay. Okay, thanks Mike. Yeah, thank you Mike. I'll grab that, I'll grab that seat. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's good it, if you can, you know, when you pull the seat down in. Yeah. All right, you yeah, can do that know. as well. I was just trying to concentrate him on the, uh, okay. on the belts because he's, he's new in the belts. Yeah, this time I'm going in and trying to hold it. It's, it, it's, it's, it's from the transport, I think, it's, it's like, Walked from the transport, so I'll get some more tape yeah, in it and reinforce this little more to the back so it won't go in again. Um, good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You trying to get rid of me already? Uh... Hi. What is going on? It's all bad footage. <laughs> Every Friday on YouTube.